it's Tracy Adams here and I am here to talk to you about human growth hormone and what that has to do with the benefits of intermittent fasting. So um, first of all, I've, I've mentioned this before, but weight loss does not just boil down to calories in and calories out, which is what we are all led to believe, okay? Um, the obesity trend and epidemic that we are you know, currently living through in the United States is actually um, largely due to hormones, okay? And so that's why I wanna talk to you for just a minute about human growth hormone. Now, I'm not talking about the stuff that they use in cows or um, the performance enhancing stuff that you hear about maybe on um, sports news, but I'm talking about the stuff that is inside of, inside of us that is natural. Um, it acts differently within the human body depending on your age. Obviously, children need growth hormone to grow. And as adults, um, we need it to heal and have cellular turnover, okay? So its main function is to help preserve proteins like in your hair, your nails, your skin, um, collagen, ligaments, tendons, um, your bones, okay? it is. It is the ultimate anti-aging hormone because it preserves the skin and all of the areas that I mentioned just previously. Um, and it also helps keep things from getting rigid. So it helps with flexibility. It also helps keep your arteries from getting rigid, rigid which is, you know, if you think about arterial sclerosis, which is a part of heart disease, um, it even can help with heart disease. So, um, it helps with cell growth, cell reproduction, cell regeneration. It also helps your body retain calcium and it helps with cognitive function. People who have reduced growth hormone actually can have reduced memory. They can have memory loss. Um, but here's where it really matters um, and why I am talking about it here on this video. Human growth hormone is known to increase the availability as well as the utility of fats for fuel, okay? And I already did a video earlier on being a fat burner versus being a sugar burner. So it helps um, our bodies better access fat for fuel, fat for fuel, and it also helps to preserve our muscle um, mass and bone density, okay? So here's the bad news. Around age 45 or so, our human growth hormone levels start crashing. And there's a few other factors that can negatively impact growth hormone. Um, let's see, some of them are, let me look at my notes. When people try to lose weight by caloric reduction, the body sees a decrease in growth hormone. Um, endocrine, endocrine disruptors, like such as pesticides and things like that, that you can have in your food. Uh, sugar, stress, and insomnia can also reduce growth hormone, okay? So how do we stimulate growth hormone? All right, well, intermittent fasting is shown to increase growth hormone, all right? By doing intermittent fasting, you increase your growth hormone, thus your help protecting your muscles from deteriorating. Um, and by de keeping, when doing intermittent fasting, by keeping your blood sugars low, you also increase growth hormone. Um, a couple other ways to increase it is through an amino acid called arginine, which is um, consumed by, uh, through animal proteins. Um, and another way is intense exercise. So, um, We've already talked about this, but truly one of the most potent ways to increase growth hormone is through intermittent fasting. Over a five-day fasting period, um, this hormone was, it, the secretion of this hormone actually was seen to double. Um, so that is just one more reason to consider intermittent fasting. Um, that is all I'm gonna cover on growth hormone. So if you have any questions, please um, post your comments in um, your questions below in the comments and I will do my very best to answer them. And that is all I have for you on this topic. So I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.